Welcome to the Trinell Financial Group, where we're an essential business and we're open. Come on in. You're probably wondering why am I wearing a cowboy hat and a face mask? And I just want to let you know that we've been operating our business 100% remotely and we plan to continue to do that. But if you need to come into our office or meet with us face to face, we are taking the necessary steps to ensure that we can accommodate and make sure that you feel safe. Welcome back to the future. Some of you might not know or have ever seen the movie Back to the Future. It's that old. And some of you probably have a really good relection, re memory of what Back to the Future is because it is that old. Not saying you are though. One of our core values here at the Trinell Financial Group is fun. And I wanna have a little bit of fun with you in recording this video of everything that's going on with the COVID-19. But that doesn't mean we're taking light of the situation because I'm gonna walk you through exactly the safety measures and precautions we're gonna be taking to keep you, your families, and our clients safe because that is what's really important to us. So we have Kim and as people come into the building, we're gonna ask that they stay to the right of Kim's desk where they can drop stuff off or pick it up where Kim will have it laid out. We are also going to have disposable face masks available for any client who comes into our building, along with disinfectant wipes, spray, and hand sanitizer. I think we got them all covered. Kim is anybody who comes into our office, is she's gonna make sure as soon as they leave the front, she's gonna take her weapon of choice and spray that COVID-19 bacteria and kill it instantly to make sure that it's gone. We're still gonna be offering snacks and beverages and over there, we have signs put up, we have disposable gloves, we have disinfectant spray for them to wipe the station down so that they can utilize that. Again, Kim is also gonna be watching this station to make sure things are wiped down really, really well. For those of you who love your coffee in the morning, we're gonna make sure that we have a pot back in the kitchen for you to utilize with disinfectant spray so that you make sure you're wiping it down after every push. Let's go back to the conference rooms where I can show you the other precautions that we would like you to take as you'll be meeting with clients. Each individual conference room will be assigned to a, a, a dedicated advisor. It'll be your workspace. You'll have your own pen in there, and I'm gonna show you where you can also get your supplies if you need to restock that area. One other thing that I forgot to mention, every client who comes in who's not wearing a mask, we're gonna, we're gonna ask that they put a mask on, and as I told you up front by Kim, but we're also gonna ask that you have a mask available, especially if you're up being mobile and walking around. We want you to make sure that you're wearing the mask. If you're in a meeting and the client feels safe, right, and asks you to take the mask off, uh, we're gonna leave that up to you because again, we want you to feel safe and be safe in your interaction that you're having with these clients. We want this to feel as normal as it possibly can, even though this doesn't feel normal to me at all and probably not to you at either. But again, we're coming back to our future. Let's just say we don't wanna stay in this future too, too long as we're continuing to follow the CDC guidelines and we'll be uh, making sure that we open things up as soon as we possibly can and that they're safe. We're erring very much on the side of safety uh, because that's our number one priority, as I mentioned earlier. So why don't we go back to the conference room and look at those. Yeehaw! Well, now we are in a conference room, right? This will be one of the advisor's dedicated conference room. It'll be their workspace. So what we're gonna ask that you do to keep the clients and anybody who's coming into these safe is that you're gonna make sure that you're wiping down the door handles, the chair, the keyboard, and the phone. We've even made signs to help remind you to do that. As I said, each of you will have an, your own labeled marker that you can use. If you need paper or pens for your meeting, there's an area where you can get that information or that stuff and lay it out prior to the meeting. As you can see, we removed all of that stuff from our tables as we don't want any communal area where people are taking or touching, potentially spreading COVID-19. All right, we are in the long skinny room, also called the pit from time to time by some people. But this is where all the supplies are uh, that were in the conference rooms. This is where you're gonna come if you need a pen or a pad of paper. 
Kim will be refilling these on a daily basis or, or as needed. And you can see in each of these is also your marker that has your name labeled on it so that you make sure that it's yours and you're touching it. In all of the rooms will also be disinfecting spray. As this gets low or you need to refill it, you just talk to Kim. She'll make sure that she gets it filled back up for you. Um, and we'll also be having disinfectant all around the building that you can utilize at any time with disposable throwaway hand towels. All right, we are in the hallway leading to the restrooms. We have the ladies' room and we have the men's room. Just give me a second to make sure that there's nobody in here. There shouldn't be because I'm one of the few people only in the building, but never, you never want to make a mistake. All clear. So just want to talk real quickly about the restroom, uh, as I know this is a commonly used community area. One of the major things that we did is we upgraded to the soap dispensers where you don't have to press down. You just put your hand under there, battery operated, it will automatically dispense the soap. You can rub your hands together, turn on the water, wash your hands, and shut it off. We got the paper dis towel dispensers back here where we can wipe our hands off. It's common be best practice as you leave to grab the door handle to pull the door open, stop it with your foot, and dispose of the paper towel. Again, touching as little as you absolutely possibly can. We'll also be wiping down our bathrooms on a very regular basis, uh, the stalls and the, and the handles uh, for flushing purposes. So I know this is a little weird talking about all the precautions. Some of you may feel it's a little bit over the top and some of you might feel very safe and feel like, hey, that's exactly what you need to do. So again, we're erring on the side of caution. Uh, the best rule of thumb is just use common sense. If you're feeling ill by at all, please do not come into the office. Again, we are operating 100% virtually and we can meet with you, we can conduct business as normal online so that you don't need to come into the, the building. We realize that there are certain things though, you might need to drop some things off or pick it up, or you just have a, a different level of comfort that you wanna meet with somebody face to face and we wanna be able to accommodate you to do that. And we are abiding by all the CDC guidelines, so we're continuing to stay abreast of everything that is going on there. And I don't know for how long we'll have to keep these uh, in place, these procedures in place, but again, we're erring on the side of caution on purpose as our, our number one priority is to keep our team and you and your family safe. So I look forward to seeing all of you as we come back to the future. Now I know I may, might not make as good a cowboy as Jeff Beck could with that bald head, that beard, and he, man, he could pull off a killer bandana. Maybe next Halloween, Jeff, you're a cowboy. But right now I'm standing in a communal area, right? This is our shared kitchen, at, kitchen space that we have here in the Trinell Financial Group. A lot of times there's food set out, you got the microwave, a coffee pot, the sink, the dishwashers that maybe people are touching. There's gonna be a bottle of disinfectant spray here, along with the paper towels that you can wipe anything down. We just ask that you can use common sense, right? Anything you're touching, we ask that you just continue to wipe it down, please. We're gonna be shutting the kitchen down upstairs, right? So we don't want people upstairs in the upstairs kitchen eating their food. If you have lunch and you're at the office, we ask that you either eat in your car, you eat outside across the street at the park, or you eat at your desk. We got the cleaning crew coming in here every single day, taking extra precautions to make sure they're wiping down the doorknobs and all that stuff and the bathrooms. But we wanna make sure that we keep the space as clean as we possibly can as well. So the communal area, the coffee pot will be here. If you have food that you need to warm up, you can use the microwave. We just ask that you wipe it down with the disinfectant spray. Another area that you're probably thinking that people come, that people touch a lot is where we come in and out of the office, right? The exit and entrance space. So follow me, I'll show you some of the things that we're gonna ask you to do if you come in and are leaving. Giddy up. We are here at the entrance of where you come into the Trinell Financial Group and probably most of you leave on the side entrance. Obviously, as you leave or enter, you're probably gonna to have to be touching these door handles, okay? When you walk in, we have disinfectant wipes along with disinfectant solution and you'll also all be given your own personalized bottle of hand sanitizer that you could keep on you at all times so when you leave the building, you're wiping down and washing your hands. Upon arrival, before you enter into the Trinell Financial Group, we're gonna ask you to fill out four questions every single day um, into you know, the next several weeks or when the CDC 
guidelines allow us to say, hey, you no longer need to be doing this for safety, safety purposes, but it's really just a health questionnaire. We wanna make sure that you have no symptoms, you're not feeling ill. If you have any of those, we're gonna ask that you do not come to work. We're gonna ask that you work remotely or you take a free day because you don't feel well. So that if there's, you know, there's very limited uh, opportunity to be spreading any kind of flu or COVID or whatever you may have, we don't want any of those germs or those bugs. And as we are the COVID cowboy police, we'll make sure that we do our best here to squirt and kill everything. All right, I am in Jeff Beck's cube, and I know I've already made the gesture about Jeff could make a great cowboy, and I'm out of cowboy jokes here, but as you can see, we got Jeff's boyfriend here, looking stellar Jeff, not bad. But I just wanna point out, his workspace looks very nice and tidy, and that's why we chose it. So Jeff, thank you for keeping your space really clean. But what I wanted to point out, when you come back to work, everybody's going to have their very own face mask that we got them and we'll provide for the Trinell Financial Group. You're also welcome to wear your own. So we just wanna make sure that we provide you one. But you'll also be getting your very own hand sanitizer that you can use. Compliments of the Trinell Financial Group. I don't know where we got these. Um, but definitely smells like hand sanitizer, okay? So you'll be given that as well that you can keep in your car. We have several of those, so if you lose one, you run out, we can make sure that you get another one. Again, we just want you to make sure that you feel safe if you're gonna be working in the office. We are gonna continue to work 100% virtually if you desire between now and the end of the quarter. That's our phase two plan. Um, we will be allowing and opening up our office to clients the week of 426. So if somebody wants to meet face to face, they can do that by appointment only and we'll make those accommodations to do so and why we put this video together. Again, we're, we're sharing with you the, the precautions that we took. Some of you might feel this is crazy over the top. Other ones might feel really relieved that we're taking these measures. We're erring on the side of safety on purpose. Again, our number one uh, goal is to make sure that you feel safe here at the Trinell Financial Group.